what's up you guys welcome back to the garage um i know it's been a minute since i last uploaded but i've been trying to stay low key i've been having the federales after me so you guys already know i can't be working right here in this area because of the fact that i'll get caught so either way <laughs> either way i'm about to close the garage door but let me tell you guys that i do have uh the engine for this vehicle for this honda civic and we pulled the gsr the stock gsr to drop a stock k24a this k24a is going to be able to push over 500 horsepower stock just how it sits and today we're actually going to be installing the engine mounts this K24 is going to be running on a turbo, so it is going to push that power. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys on a tripod, and then we're going to go ahead and go over some parts that we have. And I want this to be as detailed as possible for that person that is trying to put a K into an EG, so it can be as easy as possible. This box right here has our Hasport engine mounts, motor mounts. Um, I already went ahead, I opened the box, and I went through every single bolt, and I separated every single bolt that I needed. So, when this first, for, when you first get this, every single bolt is inside this baggie. And every single bolt is different sizes. And there is a video out there of some guy that actually tells you the sizes of each bolt. I suggest you guys look that video up and use a tape measure just like like he did and measure each individual bolt. I will go ahead and place a link in the description because that helped me out a lot to separate all these bolts and, and figure out the sizes. Um, you know, just to have them ready, ready to go. Keep everything organized because this does help out a lot when you go through all these all these bolts like that. Either way, this right here is your rear engine mount. This one is gonna go ahead and it's gonna sit back here just like that. I do have brand new bolts, so we are not gonna be using those. Let me go ahead and just get them installed. So for this bracket, there is a section right here that's a little bit longer. It's thicker, so there is going to be a longer bolt that goes through this one right here. So let's go ahead. And just mock this up. Let's go ahead and just mock this up and see what it looks like. This one right here is your driver's side engine mount your top engine mount with the bracket this is what it looks like I'm gonna go ahead it's loose yes it's still loose because we're just mocking stuff up for this one we are gonna reuse the bolt that sits in there for your old engine mount And this bracket's a bracket that's gonna catch the transmission down below. This right here is the final piece. This is for the passenger side. And in order to get this one installed, this one is actually gonna sit right here. But in order to get it installed, 
we have to knock this engine mount out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the drill. I'm gonna hit all, all the tack welds with the drill. And then we're gonna stick something behind it, a screwdriver, anything flat, chisel, and try to pry it out. So once you get all those spots drilled out, you could take a chisel and a hammer and go ahead and start chiseling this piece off. There, it's completely off. It's down there. If you're the guy that just wants to leave it like this, all you could do is just lay some self etching primer right on there. and. You should be ready to go to the next step. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip the self edging primer and I will tell you guys why in a little bit. But let's go ahead and mock up the new engine mount on there. For the new motor mount, you guys actually have these torque mounts, I believe that they're called. And these, this one actually sits on the driver's side, I believe. But you have the same one on the passenger side and it sits somewhere like right here like that so you're gonna go ahead and remove this this mount if you still have it on there and what you are gonna do is you're gonna line up the two holes where that mount came off to these two holes at the bottom of this new bracket And you are gonna go ahead and put the two bolts in that you took off, which I have right here. You're gonna put those two bolts and that's gonna line everything up exactly where you want it. I went ahead and I marked with the little red spot in there with a red marker where the center is. I'm gonna take the bracket off and we are gonna drill those two holes out so I got the bracket off it's sitting right there I got my two spots marked off right here and right here so I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna drill a hole big enough for this bolt to just slip through once this one slips through that's it I'm gonna use my step bit and you start drilling the two little ones that you use down there you're gonna go ahead take this guy the washer through here you tighten everything down and bada bim bada boom it's done this right here the mount that has the two holes on it is your passenger mount. Um, these two holes right here determine how high you want the engine to be. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at the highest point for now. Everything is loose. But there you go. Engine mounts are in for this EG. And if you were in a rush, all you would do is just lay some primer right there 
and you would continue. But I'm not in a rush. I kind of am, but at the same time, I'm not in a rush because we are going to pull these out and we are going to clean up this engine bay. We are going to make this engine bay look pretty. So this is every single part, almost every single part. We still got this, this piece. Of course, what does this look like? The T bracket for where? Take a guess. But yeah, this kit came with everything. Let me turn this fan off. It is really hot in here. Like I said, I got the garage door closed. Um, for safety reasons. But let me go over this paperwork right here really quick with you guys. And some part number for this engine mount kit. This is from Hasport. Here is your part number. EGK 2-70A. This kit is for K series into 92 to 95 Civic, 94 to 97 Del Sol, or 94 to 01 Integra. This kit runs for $549. With shipping and everything, you're looking at $592 and some change right there. So if anybody's interested in this kit, there's your part number. Go ahead and pause the video. And there's your engine mounts. Everything fit it perfect. I'm telling you guys, everything fit it perfect on here. But right now, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, start removing everything. We're gonna re remove the headlights, the battery tray. We're pretty much gonna remove as much as we can. All these lines right here, um, I don't know if you guys remember that I hit everything with the super clean already and everything's pretty good, pretty clean. But all these lines, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just lay a different paint on them just to clean them up a little bit. And even down there, I might just get like some matte black and lay some matte black down there. Just make everything really good. And then we'll go ahead and start on on the actual part of the of the Civic, the engine bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave you guys here in this video because my battery is gonna die. And we pretty much cover the first part of this build. Either way, if you haven't smashed that like button, please smash it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Oh, that's fine. Like button, like. make sure to hit that like button, like. make sure to leave a comment.